Moin Moin, welcome. My name is Lars von Thien. I want to have a short session here on TradingView about the cycle swing momentum indicator, um, which I would like to discuss with you. It's available on the TradingView platform and I want to give you a short introduction on this indicator right now. So here on the chart you see the indicator and I want to discuss the key features of this indicator because it's based on some cycle research and cycle findings I did. So let's go directly into some more details here. So if you review the topics, first of all, it's uh, the indicator is shown here um, on the chart in the, in the upper indicator panel and down below it's just compared against the standard momentum indicator to explain the features of this indicator. First, you see it's much more smooth yeah, compared to a standard momentum indicator. So a lot of wiggles here in the indicator where the swing momentum indicator is much more smooth, which gives you much more clear signals and not all the whipsaw signals where you don't know where, where's the turn in this indicator line here. Um, second, um, because this would be normal if you apply smoothness to whatever indicator you would introduce lag and if you compare the turning points here of this indicator so here's the turn on the uh, smoothed momentum indicator and here down below is the turn on the real indicator you will observe that it has almost zero zero um delay of the signal. So the smoothness now introduced to this indicator does not introduce additional lag. So this is a very important feature if you add smoothness to whatever indicator. So the zero delay on turning points here um, and here um, is clearly given without introducing lag. This is important. So alone these two features, smoothness, you see it here on the curves, and then no delay added. So third, you see that it's still very sharp at turning points because that's the third um, um, key feature you need to be uh, aware. So if you smooth out too much, you will lose the signals when even maybe the indicator turns here at the top or at the bottom, um, but it's still clear visible where the turns of this indicator are. You see here on this example, I'm hovering with the mouse, how, how sharp the signal is. So there is no smooth um, if you compare it to the to the raw momentum here where you will not be able to see any turning point here in this lower section whereas the uh, cycle swing momentum has a very sharp and clear turning point just introduced by one bar from the one to the left so this helps you to identify the signals very fast even though we have smoothness we have no lag and they are very sharp the signals so um, the, the fourth um, criteria, which is important, it's adaptable. It's, it's, um, you don't need to set a length parameter because for every momentum, yeah, you need to set a length parameter for the indicator. The, the cyclic component, which is now embedded in this indicator, will ensure that it automatically detects the dominant cycle of the market and use this this cyclic information to set the right length setting to detect the momentum of, of the market. So this gives you another key feature. So you don't need to look out what's the dominant cycle, what length setting do I use? It's adaptive. It's self-adaptive. It will automatically align to the market conditions and set the right length settings for do. There is no parameter you need to put into it. It's just put it on every chart, whatever you like, any time frame, any indicator. So it's self-adaptive. And the, the final topic then, it has a very accurate um, divergence detection. So it's, it's, uh, it's the divergence I'm plotting here. And I, I've integrated, you see the light bars here. This is the standard divergence detection, which you have in TradingView. So it will automatically show you di the divergence between the indicator yeah, which is, is it's a lower top here um, where the market is making a higher um, high here. So which gives you a kind of bearish divergence. So it's it's marked just by the uh, green and, and red 
points here. So you can you can review this indicator on your own on, on um, TradingView. It's completely open. So if you want to code, use it in your own strategies or adapt it to your own needs. I mean, I cannot explain every line of code here, uh, but feel free to adapt it, to include it in your strategies. I will now move over to yeah current Bitcoin chart to review the, the behavior of, of, of this indicator. So for so just uh, follow me here on, um, um, on Bitcoin. So what I always like is to watch different time frames in parallel. So what you see here on the chart on the left hand side on this one here, that's the weekly uh, Bitcoin chart um, with the cycle swing momentum just compared to the standard momentum and you will clearly see the momentum indicator you can't use it for whatever strategy or technical analysis. It's it's too wiggly, it's not smooth enough, no clear signal. But if you switch to the momentum indicator, I mean, just the turning points here, this would be a good buy. Here, this would be a clear sell. Here, the next buy. So you see clear indicators. But I want to come to the, to the current up switch uh, or upturn. I think during the last week we've saw on the next up move of this indicator here, where just let's keep an eye on the weekly chart first here. I've marked this divergence here. So there are two things to keep in mind. So first of all, the indicator is turning at the lower band here. Yeah. So these are signal one. It it turns by approaching the lower band. Second, you clearly see that here is spotted. Uh, a bullish divergence here. So the market is making a, a higher low, but the indicator is making a lower low, yeah, which is seen by the divergence here. And this is a bullish uh, a divergence here. You see, clearly see at this point in time, way before the upswing has started here on the chart. So here yeah, you see that this indicator on the weekly chart only has given us two signals. And then you can time, use, to, use this information on the weekly chart also then on the shorter time frames, which is shown here on the right hand side. So this is the daily chart with the same indicator here. And, and you know, you can now switch um, the situations. This indicator, I show you the, the divergence detection here. So the indicator is making lower lows while the market is making higher lows here in this case. Yeah, you see it compared here. So on the daily chart, you see that um, the daily Bitcoin data is, is already showing here a clear entry signal on the daily chart. You see it now aligned on um, here's the daily signal. Yeah? And it's falling a little bit before the weekly signal turns. But um, if you then go to the to the weekly signal, yeah, which is here. So now this is the weekly signal. Uh, and you can see here the line on the daily chart that we have passed two signals already on the daily chart and, and another on the daily chart. So now the weekly and the daily comes into alignment. And this is from a cycle analysis. This is classical cycle analysis, cycles within cycles. So you have a longer time frame. It's automatically detecting the dominant cycle, adjusting the cycle swing momentum. The momentum has given you two entry signals here on the weekly chart um, and even the daily um, indicator has confirmed the signals. You can even drill down to a four hour chart. So this is now a four hour chart on Bitcoin. Just cross checking here if this indicator is of any value. I've just put the cycle swing momentum here at the uh, bottom of the chart again. No parameters, just push it to the chart. And you see here that um, the, the, the latest upswing here to, to push across the 20K. Yeah. Um, which happened two days ago. It was clearly seen here below. You see it here on the chart that the cycle swing momentum has crossed down below our lower band here. So this is the clear entry signal here from the four hour chart um, on Bitcoin. Again, the cycle swing momentum. I mean, you can see, you can also follow the other signals here. So you have a very nice and sharp signal here um, as a low turning here. So this is the classic, the, the low and a high. So this, this allows you to follow the signals. And I just wanted to show how this helps you to spot market turns just based on the cycle swing momentum. Yeah. So please 
like this indicator, you will find this on trading, uh, trading view with the cycle swing momentum. You can search for it in the indicators. It's public, it's open source. Um, do me a favor, like it, uh, or if you use it, make a reference to the original source. I want to support here the community and, and hope you got something on, on cycle analysis and how this can to be put into practice with a nice indicator. So thanks for listening and see you next on the channel. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.